Hi, me again, and just a quick little video for you here, because if you thought the government were against the BBC, or the BBC was against the government because of the way they're talking about it, think again. They love each other, and they defend each other, and they always will, because they need each other, basically, don't they? And it proves it by having a look at this headline. Look. Booing row shows the BBC cannot be trusted to accurately report the news. So this was in many papers, but I picked it up from the, the National, which I believe is a Scottish newspaper. And if you didn't know, Boris attending the Tom of the Jubilee stuff was quite heavily booed by the people as he walked in. And BBC News, they didn't let you hear that. <laughs> How's that? No, it's bad. It's bad, isn't it? It is bad. It sounds petty, but if they can do this to something so petty, what do they do with the big stuff? That's what you've got to ask yourself, isn't it? It comes as no surprise that the BBC is up to its usual tricks manipulating the news when it decided to edit out the public booing the Prime Minister as he arrived at a Jubilee event. Yeah, it is bad, it is bad. And I know many of you can say, oh, it's just petty, they just talked over it. Oh, it's a genuine mistake, you BBC defenders out there. But if they actively do this on something so small, what can they do to the big events? What, you know, I'm not putting a tinfoil hat on. They do it to something so petty. What else can they do? We get the same old excuses from the broadcaster, which is infamous for the way it treated the Battle of or Grieve, Grave during the miners' strike in 1984, where it reversed its footage to simply imply it was the miners attacking the police rather than the other way round. Bloody BBC. I didn't know about that. Didn't know about that. Let's be clear, the BBC cannot be trusted to accurately report the news, especially in Scotland, where its obsession against independence has led to growing mistrust in its news output and resulted in Scotland having more people refusing to pay the TV licence than anywhere else in the UK. I'm proud of you, Scottish people. Proud of you. Don't let the BBC to continue to lie to you. Stop paying the TV licence. And that was passionately written by Councillor Kenny McLaren of Paisley. Good on you, Councillor Kenny McLaren. That's passionate and bold writing there. And um, yeah, I mean, they can't be trusted. We've all said it. Everyone watching this hopefully knows it. You can't trust the BBC with anything. You certainly can't trust it with your money, and you cannot trust it to be impartial with its news. There's the old saying, isn't there? You don't bite the hand that feeds you. You know, the government supply the 3.2 billion quid a year to the BBC. They take it in from us by form of a tax, you know, but without the government support, they can't have that. No, they're not going to say anything bad to the government. They're going to protect the government. They're going to protect Boris. They just are. They just are. You cannot trust the BBC. So what do you think about this then? I think Councillor Kenny McLaren done a cracking job writing that. Short but sweet and passionate. Great. Got no problem with that at all. But do you trust the BBC with the news coverage? I don't. I don't. I don't watch a lot of BBC news. I can't watch it live because I don't have a telly licence. But I do watch the odd clip on YouTube just to catch up with some stuff. It's not my first choice, okay? But sometimes something comes up and I'll click on it just because I want to know quickly. But I still don't trust it. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you do that, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.